My name is Fernando Garcia and I'm from Mexico. These days I am in the United States, in Aurora, Illinois. I am from Mexico, pastor, 18 years of pastoral in Mexico. The reason why I am here is because of the persecution. The Mexico of drug trafficking, settling accounts and this something terrifying in the city of Guanajuato where I was preaching the word. I had a restoration center for drug addicts and alcoholics. Unfortunately, the reason I am here is because we were threatened with death. We were asked to work with a cartel, and at the same time, they killed two young people, a 14-year-old boy and a 17-year-old, to the city of Guanajuato. That's the reason we're running away. We've left the church. We've left the restoration center and we've come back to our land. And we have already emigrated here in terms of refuge, asylum, by the United States and protection for my family and myself. The reason why they wanted to harm us is obvious because I, as a pastor and as the director of a rehabilitation center for drug addicted alcoholics, we were taking away their strong people. People who work for them as guards, lookouts, who were distributing drugs, came closer to the gospel. They're coming to join us. They don't want anything to do with drugs. They don't want anything to do with the drug trade. That's when I have conflict with drug trafficking because I'm stealing important parts or pieces from drug trafficking to Christianity. So I have the conflict with them face to face. The threat comes, the threat comes, the threat comes. They reach the point where they come for me to kill me. And it's the problem that two young people who restored and changed their lives for the Lord Jesus Christ, they were shot down. That's the problem. And that's where the shepherds conflict with the drug dealer begins. Because I didn't have any conflict, the fact is that they convert to the gospel. And that's where it starts. I come to this city because in Mexico, a sister went to my church in Mexico. When visiting Mexico, she would come to the church. We made friendship, we made a good friendship, good fellowship. And so when I talk about my issue there in Mexico, because I was on vacation there, and I explained to them the problem I have, the threat, the attempted murder and all that, you, eh, she tells me the doors of my home in Aurora, Illinois are open the day you have a problem. You need to immigrate there or you need to live here. My house is open to you and your family. She was a means so that I could arrive in Aurora, Illinois, meet Pastor Alex Merlo, get to know the Lutheran Church in St. Paul. And it was Sister Alejandra who was the means for me to get here and be the blessing here and know about God here with Pastor Alex Mello to have the comradeship and gratitude of being with them and the support of the pastor of the organization. From Max, from all those who surround the church and who behave the church, they gave me shelter, they gave me cover, they supported me, and until today, they have done so.